Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Building a Zoo in Minecraft. I've been working off camera to make my life a little bit easier. Check this out, this is my farm. So in the last episode, a little bit of a recap here. In the last episode, I was right over there on that very hill. I got murdered, brutally murdered by a yak or whatever the heck they're called. I forgot what they're called. I should really find out what they're called. Which brings me to my next point. I need to get one of those animal books. Anyway, yeah, in the last episode I was murdered by one of those things. Uh, is it a, is it a, 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 a gnu or something? One of those guys right there. I'll find out what they are. <laughs> um, and uh, and then I, 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 I recovered. I, well, I guess I respawned. I walked all the way from home. I surprisingly find my, found my way back and on the way back I walked through that same village and I brought I brought a bunch of uh, I brought a bunch of uh, veggies and stuff because we need to create this animal data book that's why we got to do it I totally know what those animals are called but I'm just giving myself a reason to create this animal data book so I can go find out what those animals are called um, anyway the book is a regular book plus kibble Kibble is all of these things. So, do I have an apple? I don't, but I did see an apple tree or two around here somewhere. Maybe a little bit further down. Aha! I see one. Uh, between me and the apple tree is a is a lion. Um, and then I picked this spot right here for our zoo beginning. Why? Because our first exhibit is going to be a kangaroo to honor those people in Australia who are fighting those crazy, crazy wildfires. The, uh, the, uh, the kangaroo is going to be our first exhibit. And we're going to start making it today. Hopefully even finish it today, actually. Um, and I like this area because there's like these little rivers. So we can have naturally um, or natural looking exhibits on each side of the river and then have bridges along the river and stuff. You might be asking yourself, why are you building this zoo? You're playing on single player. Nobody's going to be able to see it. Well, my friends, I have plans for that in the future. That may or may not involve you guys, but I'm going to keep that a secret for now. Look at, oh, by the way, look at the sleeping animations. I love them. I love them. They actually lay down to sleep and every animal does it too. And conveniently, there's kangaroos in this very area. Okay, let me go get an apple from right over there. I'm surprised I don't have one. And then I need one of these, one of these, one of these, one of these. I think that was it, right? And the apple, yes. I've already made a book because the lions in this area are providing a lot of things that I didn't think I was gonna have. I have reptile meat, I have la raw large meat, I have reptile hide. So I'm guessing an anaconda spawned here somewhere and uh, something killed it, probably a lion. I don't see any other, maybe it drowned because I did find it like on the shores over here. Huh, yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I've get, I'm getting all kinds of stuff thanks to these lions. Thanks dudes, you guys are awesome. Um, I wonder if this turns into an apple tree because it is flowering. Hmm. Let's get back to making this animal book. This is going to be super important. So we have this. We have this. Can I do... Oh, I'm missing the seeds. Perfect. Can I do that? Boom! We have the kibble. And now we just combine the kibble with the animal book. And now we have an animal data book. First thing we're doing is we're going to go click on, on those things. What are they... Ah, man... I feel like I should know what they are because they murdered me. Uh-oh. It may have been murdered by a couple of lions over there. That's not good. Ooh, this is an interesting little area. What is this stuff? It just says, you just get seeds from it, but I like the way it looks, actually. Can I plant this? I probably need shears or something. Um... Okay, these kangaroos, where are they at? Because I know there's like one or two over here somewhere. Oh, I thought I just saw something like run by my feet. Uh, I'm hoping the lions don't just destroy everything. And another thought that I had is, well, oh, here's a kangaroo. Uh, if I make, a, if I build the, the exhibit here, will lions actually spawn and kill them? Uh, red kangaroo trait bold, gender female variant two tamed with ungulate kibble, bred with ungulate vial. Then we've got fed with these things, okay. And then we've got enriched with a tire swing and a ball. Okay, so, let me think. I think maybe what I'll do, because this guy is is one of the guys that I'm gonna exhibit in my exhibit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna block him in here so that it can't hurt itself and nothing can hurt it. So 
So what I'm doing right now is I am clearing out the perimeter for this exhibit. So what we're gonna have is we're gonna have walls here, like uh, probably stone walls. We're gonna have a fence around. Then there's gonna be a little bit of a dip so that the animals can't jump over the fence. Um, Usually you see water down here, but with a kangaroo exhibit, I feel like I don't want to put water. I just want to have like a natural terrain dip down to sort of like a dry, arid area. We'll have some trees in here. We'll have some shrubbery. I might have to clear out a lot of this shrubbery because it's just a bit much. Um, we want to have some spots like this. You know what I want to add actually is, um, what did I leave off? Right there. I want to add, is there like a mod? For like just rocks and if there isn't can somebody please make one all i really want is like to have the ability to craft from smooth stone the ability to craft different sized stones that actually look like stones um even if they actually just look like smaller cubes it would be great and i know i can do this with the um the micro blocks i don't know what the mod is called exactly uh but that's just too much of them it's too hefty of a mod for this i just want like a simple like craft some stones mod i don't want to be like sitting there cutting blocks down and then putting those blocks together to make shapes of an actual rock like is there something like like that that exists and you guys have also mentioned a bunch of other oh the traveler's backpack is one that i think i'm gonna add to this um somebody oh who was it now i can't remember and i feel terrible i can't remember your name uh but somebody suggested adding the traveler's backpack to the mod <gasps> it's a turtle Box turtle, trait adamant, gender male, variant zero. It's the common box turtle, tame with tortoise kibble. Tortoise vile is, I think you can only get the vials, by the way, um, from those uh, those zookeepers. Uh, what's it, tortoise kibble? How do you make this? Kibble, then carrots, apples, potatoes, and pumpkin seeds. Oh no, I don't think I have pumpkin seeds. I really want that tortoise. I'm going to lose them, probably. Do I, I don't think the village had pumpkin seeds, so I didn't take any. I feel like I've seen pumpkins here recently. Oh, that tortoise would be perfect. I love that little thing. I forgot what I was saying completely. Uh, the backpack mod. The traveler's backpack. I'm definitely going to add that. I haven't added it yet because I'm not traveling this episode. I'll probably be traveling next episode, though. Is there... There's an elephant down there. Where are the pumpkins at? Oh, this is why I need to travel more. I need to get more of this vegetation that I'm going to need to make all, these, all this kibble to, to tame the animals. Is this a deep enough hole? I think it probably is. We don't need to be too deep. Like the, the kangaroos aren't going to jump because there's going to be a fence on top of this. So they're not going to be able to get out. And you want to be able to see the animals. So if you make too deep of a hole, if the animal's down here, you won't be able to see it at all. So I think this is probably good. I love the different elevations. I'm not going to flatten this out at all. I'm going to make a pathway around each exhibit. And it's going to flow with the terrain. So it's going to go up and down depending on the terrain height. I really want that turtle. I'm going to see. I'm going to take a quick look around here. To see if I see a pumpkin. Because I feel like I've seen pumpkins lately. I just don't know where. <coughs> Easy, big fella. I just want to find out what you are. It's a gower. What did I say? A gnu? <laughs> I think that's a completely different animal. But at least it started with a G. Uh-oh. Don't get too close to that guy. <sighs> Alright. I think we're going to have to skip the turtle taming. I should probably go and tame that kangaroo, though. Kangaroo kibble is very uh, similar to kibble. I guess they all have very, very similar recipes, all the kibbles. Oh, there's another apple. I'm going to need apples, though, because apples seem to be a very, very common ingredient in kibble. So uh, let's grab some more of these guys. Huh. Thank you. Did I grab it? I think I did. You've got to be kidding me with this gower thing. You've got to be kidding me. Luckily, I respawn right here. This guy... Or these guys have it out for me. I didn't think they were aggressive. Apparently, they are. So, I went into my creative uh, test world. And the bars that I think I want to use are... I feel like these bars look really, really good. But I need cactus for that. Until then, I can actually use these. The problem is they're very, very expensive. They look way better than iron bars. And I'm not going to craft iron bars here for you guys to see. Because I'm out of iron ingots. <laughs> I literally only have this one and... Oh, no, not the bed. And these. So, we're going to have to... Oh, my gosh. I have a soft spot for turtles, I'm realizing now. 
I love them. I really need to find some pumpkins. We gotta go. We gotta go on an adventure. Let's get the preliminary basic. Oh, jeez! Self defense. Self defense. Self defense. Come on, lion. Come on. Are you serious, dude? Come on. You know there used to be a bunch of kangaroos here, and now I don't see them anymore. So I'm a little bit worried. Okay, is he leaving me alone? I think he's leaving me alone. We might have to get rid of him though if he's. Oh, he's sleeping. Wait a second. African lion, impish nature, gender male variant zero, tamed with big cat kibble. Look at his little animation, his little sleeping animation. Oh man, it's all our sleeping pose, I guess. Big cat vile, and then big cat kibble. Wow, he's fed with pretty much every OGs. Oh my gosh. I woke him up. I'm pretty sure the the lions do less damage than the Gowers. Oh, that turtle. Save yourself, little turtle guy. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. And not that this is going to make him burn in the sunlight. This is not a zombie. What an idiot. I'm an idiot. Um, okay. I think we're okay. I think we're all right. The fence is also going to be, or the walls, I should say, is also, is also going to be very, very, there he is. Very, very expensive because I'm going to use, I think the best thing, honestly, is the stone brick. I mean, I was going to type it in. You guys have seen that before. The stone brick is probably the best thing to use because there's so many different things I can do with it. I could do the cracked and the mossy. Plus, I feel like the mossy would actually look really, really good with this uh, grass type. So we're going to go with stone brick. It's going to be a bit of a grind here, but we're going to try to get as much done today as possible. Look at this little guy. It's a little tree frog. Oh, I'm so excited. I've already got a great idea for the tree frog exhibit. Anyway, anyway, I'm out here looking for trees because I'm running low on wood. So I'm going to chop one down. You know what? I just realized when I died to the gower, um, all my uh, acorns, I guess I didn't pick those up too when I found my stuff. Like, it was a terrible, terrible thing. It was a frightening event. There is a lot of lions around here. This worries me. I feel like I have to electrify that fence. Oh, you think I'm joking? It's actually a thing. There's an electric fence right here. I feel like, I don't know exactly how this works, but I bet all it does is like it zaps anything that touches it. So we might have to do something like that. Let's chop this tree down because I need wood and hopefully we'll get some acorns out of it too. This takes a long time. There we go. There we go. There's some acorns right there. Oh, this is a flowering acorn tree. So wait a minute. This, these acorns are different than the others. Where'd all the wood go? This guy, he's going to sneak up on me, and it's not going to be good. Did we just get that? That doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. Does it? Oh, boy. No, no, no. No, no. We don't want lions after us. I'm more scared of the gowers than I am of the, of the lions. Um, oh, yeah. He's, he's not happy. Okay. That's interesting. That maybe maybe it's because we hit it from the bottom. Let's try it. Let's try here. Oh, please don't. Okay, he's watching me. He's watching me destroy his natural habitat. Here's some more acorns. Ha! This time we got some wood. We may have gotten it the Oh, look at these little tree frogs! These guys are the same. Right? So we got tree frog, uh, variant two, the lemur variant. This is also the lemur variant. Frog kibble. Okay. All right, I'm super pumped. I can't wait to make those guys. But let's focus on the um, on the kangaroo exhibit. Let me sh let me show you what I've got so far. Here's what we got so far. I might as well start calling it the box turtle exhibit because there's two of them in here. Oh my gosh, you're so adorable. Wait, is this the one I originally? Calm nature. Wait, what variant is it? The common variant. I think that was the first one that I looked at. There's another one over here. It looks kind of cool. It has like a different uh, colored head. The desert variant serious nature oh this guy's for real you don't want to mess with him anyway so the outline of the exhibit is done i think it's a good size i didn't want to make it too big because then it's just unmanageable plus i'm planning on only having like maybe three or four kangaroos in here i think this is enough enough space for them to roam around um we're gonna have to also have feeding boxes and stuff like this is all for real guys the animals need food we're gonna have to collect as much of that as possible get some feeding boxes for them set up i might even have to have like some sort of an entrance this would be a perfect spot, actually. 
have like a door, have some stairs on the outside, and then I can actually get into the exhibit without, without having to hop the fence. Speaking of the fence, whoo, I love this fence. Like I love the way it looks when you're like looking into the exhibit. But man, is it expensive. It's going to take me a long time to actually complete the fence. But, but we're going to do it. Uh, that only leaves me three iron ingots for a new pick. Mmm, I don't think we should do that. You know what? Let's make one more set of fence here. You only get four. <laughs> That's another reason to keep the exhibit small, is you only get four fences for every seven ingots. So, yeah, very expensive, um, but it's going to look really good. Let's start with the acorn tree, actually. I'm figuring these guys would benefit from a little bit of shade. So, we are going to put a flowering acorn about here. Not the middle. I don't want it to be in the middle. I want it to kind of be on a high point of the exhibit, which would be anywhere along this spot. But probably, I would say, not too close to either side. About here. It leaves this side more open. So this will be like the main viewing area. Now we need to, like, decorate the actual place. So what the heck can we put? I know this dirt. Let me sleep real quick. I know this dirt has, like, um, the, uh, is it called loamy? It's some sort of different sort of dirt here. It's some sort of different sort of dirt. Let's, uh, uses. Aha! Coarse, silty dirt. I should have known it was called coarse. And I think all you do is you mix it with gravel. So we're going to have a few of those in here. I'm thinking also a pool. Or not a pool, but probably... Yeah, I guess a pool, right? So, uh, yep, that's infinite water source. Uh, a pond. A pondy area would be kind of good here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have enough silty dirt, to be honest with you. You know what? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have done the. Shouldn't have dug the second layer yet because now I'm gonna have to put put things down. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to put dirt down so I can dig it out again. We may have just found a game changer here, guys. The exhibit is looking fantastic. I didn't want to show you guys before it was near completion, so I'm not gonna show you guys. But what I am. Oh, Perry dot. Uh, what I am gonna show you is this spawner that I think I just found, unless this is something else. But I'm pretty sure this is a spawner. Oh, it's got to be a spawner. If it's... Okay, so I'm going to need a lot of bone meal for um, uh, growing grass and stuff for a decoration. And I'm going to need a lot of string for nets. I have a net here. I've also made some ungulate kibble, five of it. I'm getting ready to go and catch that kangaroo. Um, if this is a skeleton spawner or a spider spawner, we are looking good. It's a skeleton spawner. Okay, so at least we're going to have bones for days. Which is good, because the exhibit needs a little bit, a, a few more bones. The problem is, I don't have any armor. Okay. Boop, boop. Everybody light up. Okay. Ooh, that's good. This is good stuff. Oh, pumpkin seeds! Do you know what that means? You guys better know what it means. It means we get to tame some box turtles. What is with all the rotten flesh? We got a music disc. We get some bread, some more pumpkin seeds, and redstone. This is good. This was a nice find. All right. We got to... Here, F3. Take cowards. Perfect. I'm down here getting some more iron because those bars are so expensive. The iron bars that I'm using for the exhibit. So expensive. I can't wait to show you guys the exhibit so far. It's, in my opinion, pretty simple. But you don't want to overcomplicate because then it just looks like too much clutter. Right? You got to be able to see the animals. Already, it might be... No, I think it's okay. I think it's okay. You'll see in just a second. As soon as I get... A bunch of iron because I'm gonna need it for the for the bars. I don't think I'm gonna have enough steel bars to finish everything, but I'm gonna try to keep my head down. I mean, I'm making it. I don't want to show you the exhibit, but I'm making it seem like it's some sort of great, amazing, grand thing. I don't think it's that impressive. Oh, I'm so close! Oh, look at the end. Of the steel bars is right there. I don't think it's that impressive, but I really do like it a lot. Let's go over here and take a look at it from the perspective of a visitor. Oh, you can't really see much from here. Um, okay, so let me go over a few things. So I've left intentionally left a bunch of grassy areas. In fact, I wanted to do a bunch of this as well. Just have some kind of like loamy, not loamy spots, just some like trampled upon spots. I think that'll look kind of cool. I planted an acorn tree, a flowering acorn tree here in the middle. It's already this big. This is for shade. The kangaroos need some shade. Then I went and sheared. Uh, these guys. These are barley. Barley plants. And so I made a little patch of barley here and a little patches of barley there and there. 
I also got some goldenrod in here. Uh, I, I sprinkled them. Look at these box turtles. I love them so much. I sprinkled them around the area. This is the coarse, silty dirt. I've got patches of that all around. I made this pile of rocks over here. This is what I was talking about earlier. I would love like a, a rock mod. I made, made this pile of rocks over here just to add a little bit of variation. I might actually make it bigger, and I don't like how even it is here. So maybe we can change it up with something like this, and then this, and then that. Okay, that's a little bit better. That's a, I think maybe what we're missing is re removing that. I think. I don't know. Maybe we could put some slabs up there, actually. That, that'd be a good idea. But anyway, we have a pile of rocks here with buttons and pressure plates and stuff. And then I've got my little pool here. Oh, this looks pretty plain. Let's add a, a few of these in here. Just like that. Okay. Um, we got our pool. We got... What are these called again? I don't remember what these called. What these are called again. River cane. Okay, we got river cane and a little bit of sugar cane here. I might eventually put some string to cap that off. Uh, but yeah, I think it looks really, really good. I mean, all we need now is an actual kangaroo. And so, oh, so close. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more of these guys. And it will be complete. I should go down and find a bunch more iron because I can't, I mean... It's too close to not finish. Where was the other iron I was smelting? Right there. I need to make a new pick, too. This is it. One, two, three. And we're done. We have one left over. The exhibit is pretty much complete. I'm sure I'll go in here and add some details here and there. But what we need now is a kangaroo. Let's go check on our little guy over here. Hopefully, he's still there. Just kidding. He's not. I don't know what happened. Um... Well, I mean, I, I've already I've already looked before we started recording. This is why the thing is not there anymore. He just despawned or something attacked him. Or maybe he drowned. But I don't think he would drown. Maybe he got, like, stuck in the block and died. I didn't see any meat either. But then again, I was in the area, so it would have despawned. But we're going to... Perfect! Oh, my gosh. Okay, we only have five of this kibble. I don't know. Is this not what you feed them? Hey. Guys, ungulate kibble. Isn't this for kangaroos? I hope so, because... Because that's what I... Ungulate kibble. Male kangaroo. Maybe it's because he's in water. Uh... Oh, it's getting dark, too. Okay, wait. I'm gonna go sleep. I'm gonna go sleep. Then I'm gonna bring some blocks and make sure they get out of the water. Okay, little dudes. Yes, there we go. There we go. There we go. Okay, you guys are getting it. You guys are getting it. Give me a second here. Just trying to get some dirt under you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. There you go. Here. Can you come out this way? Come here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That's okay. Hey, you guys got to come this way. Oh, oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. He's trying. Go, buddy. You got this. These spawns can be dangerous. Maybe I'll put like a little rim around the edge here. Make sure we cover that up. Guys, it's really not that difficult. Just walk over. I need a lead, I think. I think a lead will work on these animals. Where am I going to find slime balls? I got to find a, a swamp biome and, and murder some slimes. What is this? Vanilla Minecraft or something? Can you get up? He's not. Oh. Hey, I got him. Oh, it only uses one if he doesn't take it. That's amazing. I thought that's why I made so many. Okay, wait. No, 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 no. Come here, buddy. Follow me. Oh, yes. We have one. We can name it and stuff. Here. You, you're next. You're going to follow me too. Oh, right away. Follow me, pal. Is he following? This guy. Whoa. Okay, they teleport to you. That's good news. There's a lava pool over there. That's not good news. Is this guy following me? They seem to be attracted to that water, which worries me about their their pool. Okay, they're both following me, I believe. I mean, the pool's not very deep, so it should be fine. One, two, good. Come on, oldest little box turtle. We're, I think they're in here. One of them's in here. They're both in here. This is fantastic. Dude, now you can wander. 
okay? Where's your where's your friend? Right here. You can also wander. Let's read about them. This one is a naughty natured female, variant three, a red kangaroo. And this one, obviously also a red kangaroo, is a variant one. A male. We got a couple. We got a couple of kangaroo hunger twenty of twenty. Oh, which reminds me. They're not gonna be able to jump this thing, are they? Enrichment 19 of 20. We should make a tire swing. We should make a ball. And we should definitely make make a feeding bucket or whatever they're called. I think we have a bit of a problem with our exhibit here. Follow. It actually managed to make its way out. So, I believe the problem is they could jump like from here to here and then they can go over. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around. All right, good, good. Now you can... You can wander, but I'm going to go around and take off another layer of this stuff right here in hopes that this fixes it because, yeah, see, he, he's getting real close. He's getting re Ooh, I don't want to hurt you. He's getting real close to jumping over that, uh, that edge there or jumping onto the ledge and then jumping over the fence. All right, I think we fixed the problem. Oh, this is so cool. I want to have little babies now, little baby kangaroos. I need a... Um, Oh, where's the other one? I think I just saw the other one over here. Yeah, there he is. Look at him. He's beautiful. I think the kangaroo, the, what's it called? The ungulate vial. Can you, oh, an uncraftable, oh, uncraftable potion. I see. So you definitely have to find the zookeepers to buy these vials to, uh, to breed your kangaroos. Look at this little box turtle. Um, <laughs> okay, so now we got to make the food thing and we got to find out what the heck they eat. Uh, it's probably going to be vegetation, I'm assuming. They're definitely not carnivorous animals. I believe, did I make some kibble? I didn't. I didn't make kibble. But I have the ingredients to make kibble. So, can I do this? Kibble, boom, boom. And then I think it's just like this, right? Or is it like that? Something like that. I think it's all logs. Where's that? Uh, for the barrel, the food barrel. And then I believe they find the food barrel. Oh, we need one more log. I believe they go and find the food barrel themselves. I'm a little worried about the distance. Like how long or how far away the food barrel can be. I got to look into that. Because um, I don't want them to be like on one side of the exhibit. And then the food barrel is like on the other side. And they can't find it. And then they die of starvation. That would be horrible. So let me just knock down another one of these trees. I feel terrible doing this, but it's got to be done, right? Food barrel. Boom. Right. So now let's place it. I mean, for now, we'll place it in the middle here just to cover most of the area, I hope. These guys, they're scaring me. Okay, you're over here. You're by the rock pile. I knew you'd love the rock pile. And you're by the bottom right there. Okay, everything's fine. Now, what do you eat, actually? What can I fill that barrel with? Feed with... Ooh, oh, seeds. That's that's good, because I have a lot of seeds. And then enriched with the, the the tire swing and then the ball. I don't even know. How do you, how do you make the ball? Oops ball it's just clay okay that's doable that's doable but for now let's worry about the food um oh oh it's the box turtle i thought the tree dropped something uh get some seeds i don't know oh i have some on me. i have some more here i don't know exactly how this works i hope it's just like a, a gui where you where you right click it and you can fill it with a bunch of stuff yes 64 27 Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Oh. Are they coming over to the food? They were both heading this way. 19 of 20. Enrichment 12 of 20. Not super happy. 12 of 20. Okay. Oh, wait, let's see. Are you going to eat some food? No, you're not that hungry. The enrichment... It looked like he dropped dead. <laughs> wow. No, he's just sleeping. He's just sleeping. I hope. Um, is the other guy sleeping in the water? I hope not because he'll drown. Let me let me <laughs> make it day. What the heck? I need to figure out. I don't think I have any clay either. I got to find some clay too. Maybe in this river. Definitely clay in the river. All right. I made a ball. 
Now, what do you do with it? Do you just place it? Oh, yeah! Are you gonna go play with it? I wonder if they can actually move it. Oh, I can move it! Are you kidding me? Look! Look, little guy! I got a ball! How's your enrichment now? Oh, he's playing with it! That's so cool! Enrichment 20! Maybe I'll leave the little box turtles in here as their companions. How's your enrichment? I wonder if it automatically enriches them or if they have to play with it. Oh, I think they probably have to play with it. He's playing with it, I think, still. No, no, he got he got enough of it. Can they go up blocks? That is something I don't know. Hmm. We're going to have to experiment with that. Hey, buddy, hold on. Let me, can I, can I mine it or something? Can I right click it? I don't think I can pick it up once it's placed. So let's just leave it there. Uh, maybe a sword or something. I don't know. No, nothing's working. Uh, okay, well, at least we've got these guys. We got them fed too. 63 and 27. So he took one. One of the guys, one of the guys ate. That's good. These guys are going to be happy here. Absolutely ecstatic. You're my favorite because you played with the ball. Um, what was I going to do? I feel like I was going to do something. We have the net. We didn't even need the net. It just We just followed. Oh, look. He's playing with them. Oh, it does go up the block. Nice. That is so cool. Okay. That's going to be it for this episode, I think. I think I did all I wanted to accomplish in this episode. I think the exhibit looks really good and really natural. I'm trying to go for a natural look. Kangaroos don't live in like a heavily forested area. So I think the one tree is probably enough. What I do want to add, though, is some downed branches if possible. I don't I have to play with the silk touch and stuff. I don't know if that's a thing. Like, they're blocks, but you can't craft them. Um, is it wood? Yeah, like uh, dynamic. So if you type in dynamic, dynamic, you can see all the tiny, like, so smaller blocks, but you can't craft them. But maybe we'll be able to break it with the silk touch. I have no idea. Anyway, I think this place looks great. Look at these little box turtles just following each other. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.